guys it's John from behind the diamond back with another video today we're gonna do something a little bit different we are vlogging uh, I'm not behind the table we're going to the Garfield New Jersey show which is an awesome show it's been running for many many years and uh, today is a special show because it's a holiday show Gary the promoter of the show which he does an awesome job promoting it actually opening up two rooms uh, he has one room with 60 tables and now he's opening up another one with 40 so it's gonna be a pretty good show it's gonna be about a hundred tables it's the holiday show a lot of dealers are gonna be there a lot of New Jersey dealers some Pennsylvania dealers and New York dealers and also it's actually another special day because I'm hanging out with my boy today and I think a lot of people know this guy uh, he is he's an awesome guy he's a friend of mine and I sold him his first card eight months ago not many people know that, but now they do. I sold him his first card eight months ago, and we became friends ever since. He's a great guy, and he's actually driving me today. <laughs> Maybe so, hot. I know you guys met, recognize me from somewhere, and it is true. I got this back. That got back in the game about eight months ago. Uh, I collected while I was a kid, and some annoying junior sales of mine got me back into it talking about NFC NF something cards I had no idea what he's talking about so uh, we talked about cards and uh, I got back in the game and I uh, started going to shows and met mr. John back there uh, you all know him everybody knows John I mean if you any card you want chances are John got it uh, and yeah like he said he's the first one that sold me my first card once we got I got back in the game little did he goes no that's what it, what it really means is he's the first one that ripped me off. <laughs> little do I, now that John's been teaching me and teaching me, his little grasshopper's learning a little something something, and here I am learning how to comp cards and see how people uh, really do it, and I'm just learning from the master, and here we go. I'm uh, taking Mr. John to uh, the Garfield show. We're going to rock it out. I know what the best part about it is? I don't have to drive this time. It's awesome, right? I don't gotta pay for tolls. I don't have to pay for gas. Turn My boy right, Steve is treating me for, for the holidays because I did sell him his first card. Hey John, since we're going to the Garfield show, um, just out of curiosity, I In mean, I'm sorry, sorry about the GPS Expressway anymore. Service I apologize. Road. I have no sense of direction. I'll tell you guys one story that I actually invented GPS, but that's for another day. John, let me ask you a question. For a guy that, uh, that I mean, I do it for the collection, I do it for the fun, I do it for the sheer joy, not that you don't, not trying to take anything away from you. Like, I do it, like, I, I buy players that I like. Um, like, for you, as a seller, as this is, this is what you do, and you know Expressway ins and outs of everything, like, what do you, how do you find your cards? What do you, going into the show, what do you look for? Expressway I've always looked for players that I liked. Uh, Basically, like Patrick Ewing, uh, John Stockton, Dominique Wilkins, you know, Don Mattingly. I I love the Hall of Fame players. Uh, I loved them since since I was five years old. So I was watching baseball and basketball and football since probably about 1985. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably when I was North seven Ram. years old. This day and age, like you know, obviously, you and I are kind of like dinosaurs. I know I'm driving without hands, just going straight. Um, like with this day and age, with all the, I don't know, I guess they call it millennials, generation, or whatever the hell it is. Like, obviously, they don't even know who Patrick Jordan, uh, Patrick Ewing is. Sorry, Patrick Jordan. Patrick Ewing is, John Stockton is, and did you say John Starks? If you said John Starks. No, nah, Dominique Wilkins. Continue Dominique on you know, I Not that many people even know him. No, they should. You know what, though? It's the, the best part about it is because back in the day, we didn't have what? We didn't have Google, did we? Well, we, we did, but a lot of people didn't have cameras. I mean, uh, computers, right? I mean, I think I got my first computer when I was 13, maybe, 14 years old and stuff like that. So, you know, now the kids can actually Google Dominique Wilkins and learn about him and look at his highlights and uh, look at his scoring, you know, all the scoring titles that he had and all his points and, and stuff like that. So they, they can Google any player and they could they could start to like players by just watching their videos. They don't have to, you know, they don't have to watch these players, pl you know, play these days. Yeah, but John, that totally makes sense. Absolutely. But nonetheless, you know, you get the, this, uh, this whole Jordan and LeBron comparison, Jordan and LeBron comparison, who's better? Obviously, they play two different positions. Uh, obviously, guys, like uh, in our era, we actually seen Jordan play. We know what Jordan did, what what he can do. Uh, and then you and, and kids nowadays see LeBron, they've never seen Jordan, and they think Jordan's better. 
I mean, obviously Jordan counts all like championship rings. He's never lost in the finals. Six-time MVP. I mean, I'm not trying to throw stats out there and this and that. We all know who's better, but I'm just saying, like the kids nowadays, they don't they don't see they never seen those cars. So those players, so they can't really appreciate that Dominique Wilkins was a, a, a dunk champion for like what however many years he was. Two times. Two times. But the, the best the best one was when he played against the the one that he lost to Jordan in the uh, that, was like eight, that was like that was like eighty eight or something. Eighty eight, eighty seven. Yeah, yeah, I know awesome. some shit. Look yeah. me, look peeps. I know some stuff. Look at that! It's from my era. Anyway, but my, my my point is, John. Like, obviously, like you know, you're gonna love Ewing. I was a New York Knicks fan. Ewing, that team, '94. Uh, we should have won. We should have won the whole thing. Uh, damn you, damn you, Elijah uh, Wan. We lost what game seven. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, we lost to a great team. I mean, John Stocks. What? What happened with John Stocks? He missed that. He missed that three-point shot in Game Six to win the game. They came. I think the Houston Rockets came back by like six, seven points, and uh, John Stocks had a chance to uh, win the game in Game Six, and he missed the three-point shot. And then after that, Game Seven, I think they got. I think they got rocked in Game Seven. Well, nonetheless, the, the whole point. My point is, John. Like you know. Like with kids nowadays, or not collect. I don't want to keep saying kids. And I apologize for that. If I keep saying kids, like collectors nowadays, they want the, you know, the the people that are, are here now. Like I, I remember one time I went to someone's table, and he's bringing out all these Hall of Famer slabs, this and that, whatever, whatever. But I'm like, where are the people that are alive? <laughs> like all these players are dead. <laughs> it's like, you know, where's your people that are still living? But it's like people that are like, yeah, we got, you know, it's, you know, some people like feel like a nut. Some people don't. I get that. But but I'm saying trying to get to today's date, like, you know, collectors, how do you feel? How, how do you feel like you want to keep up and Left at the fort. be able Stay to like, know who's high north. And et cetera, et cetera? Well, you gotta you gotta buy a little bit of everybody. That's that's the thing. You gotta you gotta you gotta know the game. Continue on and Cross Bronx Expressway for if one If collections mile. come your come your way, or if you know somebody comes up to your table, or if you you're dealing with somebody, you gotta buy a little bit of everything. That's what that's what I used to do. I bought you know I, I didn't see Joe DiMaggio play or Mickey Mantle play or Yogi Berra play, but you know you 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 know the history. You know you know the history of the game. And yeah, but again, those John, guys. But again, John, that's you. <clears throat> like, well, no, there's a lot. That if, no, if, know, you, if you're if you're a if you're a sports fan, you gotta know a little bit of the history of the game, and then you got you know even if it's not every player that played in the '80s or '60s or '70s, you gotta know a little bit. So you start collecting a little bit, and you start learning players, especially, and then you you, you just keep you just keep bring up a bunch of cards and stuff so I, I you know i understand that john but like my point is like nowadays like back when we started collecting it was just rookie cards and like now there's inserts there's patches there's autos like no one really really cares about like someone just rookie card they want their patch auto birth certificate you know first born card and this and that whatever so like that's what i'm saying like obviously the game has changed and throughout the 20 years and 25 years that you've been collecting, no? Oh yeah, without a doubt. Uh, it's it changes every year, bro. This, this, we haven't gone through a change like the, I mean, the, the pandemic actually changed everything. But it also there was also a change back in 2008, 2009. Uh, there was also a change in I think 2014. But we're in the biggest change in, in the sports market right now. Basically, I mean, it's 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 insane. Okay, so that's 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 the thing that like my biggest question is like, you know, John, I I kickstarted myself back eight months ago. I had a small small collection. I never had like you know all the diesel cards and every card I showed you that I had. You're like, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. And then I just pretty much OD'd and went and bought everything. <laughs> I bought so much to the point that. You're like telling me, slow down, slow down. You're gonna burn yourself out. You're gonna burn yourself out. Which, again, you're not wrong. And not that I burnt myself out, but I was. I don't. I only have one speed. Either two. Actually, I'm sorry. I only have two speeds. Either I go or I don't. I don't know what the gray area means. So I kind of just went crazy and just bought everything that I could. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. 
Uh, I didn't know about the comps. I didn't know about anything. And every single card I got, I showed John. Like, look, John, look what I picked up. He's like, yeah, you got ripped off. I'm like, really? Did I? He's like, yeah, you could have bought that card for like five bucks. I'm like, he's like, how much you pay? I'm like, oh, like $30. He's like, yeah, you got ripped off. I'm like, again? My, not only did I want to get a card, all these cards back, but I wanted to get a card to finally impress John. Like, look, I finally got a deal. And he's like, even when I did get a deal, I'm like, look, John, I got this for 99 cents. And he's like, yeah, how much you pay for shipping? $12? He's like, yeah, dude, you got ripped off. <laughs> yeah, I remember those, actually, those, those <laughs> conversations. Man, you were, you were texting me like crazy. And you know what? I have, I have, I have a lot of patience, too. So Not really. He, but not really. I, I not started, really. I started He's lying, not folks. answer his text messages after a while. But he, he was texting me like crazy. But I, did, I, I think I did try to help him the best that I can. I mean, you... Didn't you, uh, what, what was it that you, you bought, a, you know, you bought actually a Damaris Thomas card, didn't you? Yes. And actually I told you not to buy it, yeah. but you know, you were actually right about that one. Unfortunately, I mean, he was, he was one of the best receivers that we saw, right? Yeah. Don't you think? Well, he's top. He's like in the top 15 at least. God bless his soul. Yeah. He was awesome. R.I.P. babe. Bumps. We're on the uh, cross Bronx. Apologize. I'm probably going a little faster than I should be. We're in the boogie down Bronx, baby. Yeah. Lock your doors! <laughs> Lock your doors, folks! Lock your doors. Um, yeah, that was. I remember that card. It was a. It was a score. I'm not sure what year. I forget. I'm sure it's, you you people know which card I'm talking about. It's a score. His score rookie. It was a graded ten, but it was a BCC whatever that crappy brand is. BCC key PD whatever. Um, and John. In the beginning, I, I didn't really understand graded companies, like, you know, like which graded companies to go with and this and that. But John was like, you know, when he had patience, <laughs> was patient enough to educate me and kept telling me to go PSA with PSA, PSA, PSA only, PSA only. And being so green and being so eager to get back and get all my cards back, I didn't really care. I just saw a graded 10. I was like, money, money. And I was like, but John, it's a graded 10. And he's like, it doesn't matter. You want a PCA. And all these damn abbreviations, PCA, SGA, BGC, BFF, B, BFA, whatever, all these uh, graded companies got me confused, really. And I didn't, I didn't really pay attention. Not that I didn't listen, John. I was just like, I just wanted to, my, I wanted to get every card I can get my hands on. And so I forgot, like, I'm like, I would text John. I'm like, it, which grading company is it again that I'm supposed to like? You're like, it's PCA. Like, oh, PSA. sorry. PSA. PSA, yeah. See, exactly. I still forget. And you don't understand. I'll be at work looking at cards, and I'll be taking pictures of, <laughs> like, a card on my screen. I'm like, John, should I get this? Steve, it's fake. I'm like, oh, okay. It is? How can you tell from this? He's like, Steve, I've been that's doing this right. for 25 years. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Uh, that he's, like, <laughs> he's like, Steve, I've been doing this for 25 years. I'm like, all right, fine. And then I, and I wanted to get a Tom Brady rookie really bad, really bad. So I found this Tom Brady rookie card on, on eBay. And like I was looking at cards every day, every day for people. And I found this Tom Brady rookie card. I don't know. It was like for five, or I think it was like $10. And I was like, oh my God, John, I got one. And I, I sent him the text and I was like, I'm John, is this fake? And, and I, I will never forget that uh, text reply. He's like, you're finally starting to learn. That's right, right? Yeah, you finally starting to learn. I harassed this guy because I told John from the jump. I was like, "Look, bro, I'm a very loyal guy. Like, you know, I like I'm the type of person like I don't know anything. Okay, I trust people, and I love people. I trust people. I always think about like look at the good for everyone. If I can lean on you and believe in you, and you can take care of me, yo, I'll go back like a dog. I'm like a Labrador. I'll go back all day. It's like you know what. When he first came to the show, he was like a little kid in a candy store. He was asking for prices. He was you were you were in awe at yeah. that Plainview show, right? The Flame, you were, I, I can't no the, yeah the first show was the Plainview show. The first right? show that you came to was Plainview and you came up to my table and you you couldn't get your words out fast enough because That was, was my a, first show. First show. He was like how much That was, that? A, that was the first that? show after COVID. Yeah, it was. It was I had to wait after. online. I had to wait online for like 30 minutes. I was so excited. I was so ex like, basically, once I got back in the game, I was started like when I was a kid when I started collecting. I, I, I was going to card stores, which was stupid. Um, they rip you off even more there, uh, which is understandable. They got to keep their store open. Uh, and then finally, I started googling like card shows, card shows, and I found the Plainview show. 
Uh, so I went by myself and waited online for like 30 minutes, and that's where I met John. I was so excited because like you know, John always told me like you want to get the shows early, and, and folks, early. this is you gotta my go early if you want the deals. You gotta go early, folks. And I want to add in this damn video. This is my first show. I'm actually getting to the getting to the show with, when the doors open. And I want to see John make some magic. I want to see what this early bird means. He better get some Jordan rookies for like $2 or something. Because I never, I should still be in bed right now, okay? It takes a long, that's why I got some sunglasses yeah, but you on. Also, but you also beat the traffic coming back, man. We're going, on, we're going over the George Washington Bridge. We As we speak. Uh, for an hour and a half coming back home from a card show. Sometimes, sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it's not. But the whole moral of this story, right, Steve? You can learn, you can learn this business, the, the, the kids or the adults that want to get into this business, you can learn this business in six months or eight months. And especially if you have eBay and you know how to navigate through eBay or, uh, or the internet and all that and shows, you can get good deals at shows. And in eight months, this guy is becoming a pro. Okay, <clears throat> he's lying. That's, yeah, but, but kids, actually, that's not true because, because it's because eight, of me he's a pro right now because he learned from me whoever the hell's watching this he's lying because eight months later i still have no idea what i'm doing caught on okay smart finally it took me eight months to realize but if I, look at all these beamers man look at all these beamers they're like racing fast and the furious anyway there's like four beamers. there's like five it's like a beamer oh shit, yeah right there like there's like Boom. six beamers <laughs> yo man i'm driving a volvo what's up it's like, it's, yeah, there's like seven beamers. Anyway, um, so I caught on to the little tricks. I realized what the heck the, what time it is. They're kicking these dealers like really good deals, like super deals. And, I, and obviously within the eight months time, I will tell you one thing I did right, is I befriended a whole lot of dealers. At first I only knew John, and I only... He befriended me for about maybe a month because I think he was mad because he thinks I ripped him off. He tried to sell me a Ryan Sandberg Topps rookie card. Topps plain rookie for $30. And I comped it for the first time. I was like, yo, man. this." But is it was centered. I was and like, the corners were mint. It, it was. was a mint condition card. Yes, that is not, that's not a lie. That card was Crips. You can like cut vegetables with that card. No lie. But when I looked it up and charged me what? I'm yeah, but like, you know what? Vintage is different though. You got to look at centering. You got to look at corners. You know, sometimes the 1983 uh, the 1983 cards are a little off centered so he doesn't really you know that's something that you have to learn too sometimes you can get the Ryan Sandberg rookies for what seven dollars yes seven eight dollars right but a nice centered one that's gonna probably nine or ten you're gonna have to buy for 25 30 bucks or and grade it you know put it into PSA but that was eight months ago so that, that was PSA closed then before? that was still uh, they were still they were open that, no, they were closed that was at the new Rochelle show, uh, new Rochelle uh, show that I met you at well, um, that was probably like my second or third show uh, that actually was a pretty good show well the best thing to do myself. is to buy at a show and to buy off of people, you know, because that's where you get the best deals. Uh, eBay, sometimes, you, you can get the best deals on eBay, uh, you know, in the middle of the night or in the early morning and stuff like that. But now eBay is getting a little too tough. It's, you know, you're paying for tax, you're paying for shipping uh, and all that stuff. So if you're, at, if you're at a show and you have that opportunity, to get a bunch of cards or a, or a good deal, you gotta go with that. You know, you, the eBay is not eBay is is a good source if you're looking for a specific player and a specific brand or autograph and stuff like that, and you can't really get it at shows. But the best the best thing is to buy deals or to buy cards at shows or off of friends or off of uh, people that you meet at shows get their number and just you know become friends you know that that's the best that's the best deal and John I think he brought a card for me a t Taylor Hinky card for me oh he's gonna sell me see, a, look at look at this look and at he's this, selling guys. to me for 10 bucks let me tell you something look I got this show I got this card yesterday right here pretty cool card you don't see it that often it's number to 99 there's not many up on eBay, right? I got this card at a comic book show yesterday. It, you know, that's another thing. You know, I also collect comics. If you guys, you know, I have some comic videos, and if you follow me on Instagram, I, I do comics too. And I, I went to a comic book show. The best deals. Let me I, let me let me rephrase that. If a see lying. Let me 
if there's so, if there's a comic book dealer that has sports cards, you're probably gonna get the best deals. And this was a deal yesterday. This card I think goes for about 40, 50 bucks. And John's gonna sell to me for 10. I'll <laughs> give it, I said I'll give it to, I'll give it to him for 40, but today if he wants it, I'll give it to him for 30. But people don't know how much I really bought this for. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about, these dealers? Sneaky ass. I can't even say the word. All right, guys, we're probably about two minutes away, a mile, uh, and we're gonna get ready to go into the show. Uh, we're gonna show you, uh, we're gonna show you the, you know, the, the, the show floor. Uh, hopefully, if we buy stuff, uh, people that we meet, uh, people that we know, and all that stuff. So stay tuned. Right, my man, Steve. You got it, brother. We're like, uh, we're got about a minute away. Um, I can't wait to finally go with somebody that actually knows about every single card. So I'm gonna point a card and be, hey, John, is this a good one? Hey, John, is this a good one? And I'm gonna have a secret weapon today. I'm gonna have eBay comps live. I'm gonna just ask John. Yeah, I'm a, you know, it's all in my head. I know what things go for I'm, right I'm in my head. I'm gonna be like, John, is this worth it? John, can I get a better deal? John, you're the cheapest bastard alive. Help me out, John, do, me, do what you do. Sometimes you gotta be cheap, man, yeah. to get the good deals, right? So I'm gonna have an a eBay comp live per, in person with me. So folks, stay Take tuned. Take a picture of that right there. You see Wayne Krebet, Miles Austin. In a quarter mile, you your destination will be on the left. So we That's are, my boy, Wayne Krebet. You're a Jets fan? Yeah, Wayne wow. Krebet was the best Jets receiver of all time. Not Keyshawn Johnson? Now, hell no, Keyshawn Johnson. Give me the ball! No way. He got overshadowed by a, a guy that went to Hofstra and that wasn't even drafted. Okay, it's the second part one, right? Yeah. It's not this one, right? It's the second one. Look how close we are. Booyah. John, let's go. All right, guys, we're here at the Garfield Show. We're going in, all right? A hundred tables, like I said, and it's going to be hopefully fire, all right? And we're going to buy some cards. What's better than that, right? Let's go. Atkins, let's do this.